All right, this is a follow-up to uh, my last video about the light multiplier that I am working with a little pulse motor jewel thief type circuit, uh, spinning up a neo-magnet on a mirror and lighting up uh, Maggie's uh, two LED eyes for basically the same amount of power that it takes to just light up that one LED right there. Now, I made a mistake in my last video. I said this was running at about 50 milliamps, I believe on a 1.5 battery. There's the 1.5 volt battery, but there's the true milliamp draw, and that's running the, the Neo Magnet. It's about 16 milliamps. But what's interesting about this is when I take that away and I run just the oscillator without spinning the magnet, the amp draw goes up. And let me show you this. I'll take this away. Now the oscillator is still going, Maggie's eyes are still on because that neo magnet's revved up so much. Look at my amp draw. The amp draw went up to 22. Put it back down here. Start running the magnet again. There goes the amp draw down. Get this going again. I bumped it. Yeah, there's the amp draw, and that's with it driving the neo magnet. And that's with it pulling a load into Magni and, Mag and lighting up Maggie's eyes. So I just wanted to let people know that there was a slight error. It actually is the other way around. It actually draws less power when I'm driving Maggie. And that makes this more confusing. You'd think it would drive, draw more power when I'm pulling a load through Maggie on this. So obviously something's going on here. I don't know. I've heard several people's uh, explanations perhaps of what's going on here. All I know is that this takes a normal jewel thief and knocks it down by 5 milliamps and gives me two more LEDs. So I just thought I would share that with people. That uh, um, This is quite something. I'll be looking into this quite a bit. Uh, Johnny Davro has always, already got this up and running too, and I'll be real curious to see what his readings are on this also. Uh, he's taking readings uh, off of the coil using a 1 ohm resistor and measuring the voltage drop, which is how we measured uh, amp draw on the Dr. Stifler experiments and that's a very accurate way to do that. You measure a voltage drop across a resistor. Now this is a very good meter that I bought for the SEC project and it has filters in it so I'm comfortable with that amp reading. Uh, one more thing, anyone that's got a Gina light going, that's my Gina light right there and I love this thing. It's just the neatest thing. That's a little Christmas card and I can make it real bright and light it right up if I want to or tim it down, make it nice and cozy. But I also found that you can drive Gina's light. I mean, you can drive this uh, candelabra LED on Gina's light right out of the box. And uh, Gina mentioned this, and so did somebody else, that you can light up one of these uh, candelabra LEDs. It's a 110-volt uh, bulb. So anyway, I'll be working more with that. It draws a lot of energy to do that, but the amount of light is probably double what I'm getting out of that on a 1.5 volt uh, battery. Anyway, that's the latest for tonight. An update on my uh, light multiplier showing the uh, amp draw with and without the rotor being spun. Thanks for watching.